today on Metal Talk Monday we are talking about Atlas Rise by Metallica. Oh my god, such a cool song. I can't wait for the album. Oh my god, almost too excited. But uh, yeah, let's talk about Atlas Rise and there is this one part that was just like, oh my god, it's so cool. So I thought we could talk about that little part in today's video, so yeah, let's just get started. As usual, I'm going to play it first and then we'll talk about it. tuning this uh, week. We start off with two strokes on the lowest string, the E string. Pretty simple enough. Uh, and then we have a slide from the 7th and ninth fret of the D and the G string. And you slide down to the 5th and the 7th fret. So you have play two strokes again on the E string. So it's a... Yeah. And then you have five and seven on the A and the D string and you slide up this time. So... And you slide up to the seventh and the ninth fret. So now we have... And then let's move on. Then you have two strikes again on the E string. And now we have quite a, a long slide, which is actually why I really, really like this riff for uh, practical purposes uh, because it's really nice to be able to uh, practice slides as chords. So when you're holding more than just one note, you're actually practicing sliding. Um, with chords. So yeah, this is probably the reason why I chose it, other than that it sounds awesome. So yeah, uh, we come from the two strokes on the E string, and then you have six and eight on the E and the A string. You slide down one fret to the fifth and the seventh fret, and even further down to the third and the fifth fret. So, and then you play on the E string again, just simply the E string. And then you sort of go up and down again. So uh, after playing the single note on the E string, you play three and five again on the E and the A string. And you slide up to the fifth and the seventh fret and down again. And then you play an E chord, which is just um, open string on the E string and second fret of the A string. So you have. Uh, or we can we can we can take the riff uh, completely from there. So now we have yeah, and then you have seven strokes on the E string. I think seven or eight. You you will hear that in the song. I just haven't been able to sort of figure out if this this ending sort of if that's one of them uh, I think it is one of them and then it makes it eight so yeah you'll hear it in the song you uh, you're anyways just lying on this just open E string and when you play that let's say eight times you have um, first fret of the E string and then open E string twice so and then an A chord so that's um, open A 
string and second fret of the D and the G string. Yeah. So together the whole complete le completeness of the riff is from the E string to just it's it's just so cool and the the chord sliding is just really really useful to know and it comes in master of puppets as well and it's just it's kind of hard to get the hang of it but if you just find like like these just awesome riffs you can you can practice over and over again it's it's not that much of a practice, it's, it's more of a jamming and it just makes it a lot more easy to to sort of keep on going even though it takes some time to learn it, so yeah! <laughs> sort of um, uh, cover or album art, 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 <laughs> and you had Lars on the Moth into Flame and now on Atlas Rise you had Kirk, so we have, we are suspecting uh, a, a new single releasing before the actual album with Robert's face on it, so oh, I'm so excited, uh, it's, uh, we, we have this sort of like it needs to happen because you have all these three members and you have one member that doesn't have a single yet so we need this so yeah that's that's this week just let me know if you have any questions and uh, yeah any suggestions for metal sunday and um, yeah it's awesome i'll see you next time